DIY lantern from top to bottom. Let me show you all the steps to make this beautiful lantern. You're going to start with these square boxes. Put the link below. We are going to use these square dowels, a leveler, some glue, wood glue and hot glue and stain. The dowels are 12 inches long. However, we are going to use them a little shorter. I cut them down to nine inches. So let's get started with what is the top and the bottom of our lantern. The dowels get cut to nine inches. Anything taller made the lantern a little too wobbly. So I cut them down to nine inches. The link for all these materials is below. I like to pour my Gorilla wood glue so that I can dip the bottom and be very generous and the sides where my wood dowel will touch the wood base. Once you glue them, I do put hot glue to set it a little quicker and clean off the excess glue with a rag. Go in with the leveler and measure to make sure that all my dowels are somewhat straight. And then I repeat the same process for all the rest of the dowels. In this case, I did two dowels on the base, two dowels on the top, just so that I can show you the process. I make sure to leave everything at least 24 hours to set with the entire glue uh, before I put all the pieces together. And now I'm using some Rust-Oleum wood stain to just simply stain it. Again, you can use chalk paint, you can use acrylic paint. These pieces are unfinished wood, so you can use whatever you like. Just go ahead and paint it all. You can do it ahead of time. I like to do it once the piece is all together and let this dry um, at least a few hours. Once that's done, we go in with some 60919 available in my shop. We are going to uh, use some ivy and some fern. So I am doing the piece so that I can easily remove it and change it for a season or a holiday. So I'm cutting down some of the fern leaves, some of the ivy, and my 60919. I use zip ties to hold the pieces together so that once I'm ready to attach it, measure the length, how long I want it, and then I'm basically making a bouquet in my hands and I'm going to attach all the pieces together with um, a zip tie. You can use greenery of your own choice and flowers of your own choice. So once we put it together, I use floral U-pins, also available with my Amazon link, and... I use the pins to hold my greenery so that if in the fall I change my mind and I want to change it to fall, I can easily take off my clothes pin, uh, my, I'm sorry, <laughs> my floral pins and change the pieces. I do put a little touch of glue on my U-pins just to make sure um, however, it's not a lot, so it will stay nicely, but also comes come off easily. Now I want another top piece, and when I'm forming that, I'm using the same greenery, but I'm making an L shape on the bottom of my branches so that when I set it up, it will sit nicely. And again, I'm going to zip tie everything and use U-pins so that we can interchange for the seasons. This is definitely a fun piece to make for yourself in your home or as a gift. Um, and you can use whatever colors, 60919, if you check my 
Uh, in my shop, we have quite a few different color choices. I do recommend using candle operated light for this type of lantern. So again, it's like forming a bouquet in your hands. So once that's set in, we can see glue again, a little bit of the U pins. Now we want to cover all our mechanics and I'm just doing that by inserting a little bit of shorter greenery to make it all pretty and hide all the parts that we don't really want to see because I want my lantern to be pretty in the back as well. And I'm going to place another 60919. This is a bit of a whimsical um, piece. So I wanted the floral to be going all over the place, like in nature. We're going in, you don't have to, you can stop without the ribbon tails, um, but I can show you what it looks like with just a few ribbon tails here and there to add it a touch. And let's say this was a special occasion, you could put a festive um, ribbon. I sure hope you enjoy this very simple DIY lantern that can be used all year round. See you guys soon.